Don't outlive your money. Don't make that mistake. Follow the 4% rule. Jerry Brown here with Jerry Brown Travels. Laurie here. And in this video, we're going to give you the magic formula. At the end of this video, we're going to show you how you can calculate exactly how much money you need to save and have put away for your retirement. And uh, stay tuned for this. And Lori, can you imagine that they are going to be able to save and live off this money for 25 to 30 years? Wow, that was great. 25 to 30 years? Is that great? That is great. You know what I mean? Then you're not going to have to worry about income or anything like that. And you can relax, sit on the beach, and just have a great time in your retirement. In this video, I'm going to explain what the 4% rate right. is. Do you know what that is? Well, it is the safe way to take out your money as you retire so your money will last you, say, 25 or 30 years. How you can withdraw your money out of your portfolio for a lifetime without running out of money. There was a study that was from 1926 to 2009. It's called the Trinity Study. And what they did is they looked back over that timeline and they looked at people retiring and how if they use this 4% rate, how they can extend their money. Also in this study they showed that if you took 50% of your portfolio and you had it invested in stocks and the other 50% in bonds, if you take this formula, like I say 4%, it'll last 25 years. But if you want it to last 30 years, be a little more conservative and take 3% withdrawal and that money will last for 30 years plus that's almost guaranteed the study shows. Now how did they come about having this 4% or this 3% you know withdrawal rate? Well over a hundred year period they looked back and the average return on your money in the stock market was 7% and then inflation was a minus 3%. So if you take three off of seven, you get that 4%. And that's how they came up with this uh, formula. Now, if you are making the 7% and you're only taking out the 4% and you're following this formula, that means each year that your money will stay about the same. Now, the people that actually decided to retire, say in around 2007, 2008, when the economy really dipped down and we had that recession, that was not a good time to retire. Let's say they had in their portfolio 385,000, but because of that dip in there, their portfolio went down to 275,000, then they would not have the adequate amount of money to uh, retire in. So they would have to wait a few more years, keep adding back that money into the uh, portfolio, and definitely, if they did not take out the money, it would have recovered and they would have been able to retire after they built that portfolio back up to the original number that they needed. Now remember, over 100 years going back, this study showed that, and we're talking about through depression, say in the early 30s, we're talking about World War II, the different wars that followed, the different uh, markets that were down, but the average return was 7% and the average uh, inflation rate was 3.22% to be precise. And this is why we come up with a 7% overall growth in the stock market. And then you take away that 3% and then there is the magic number. That's why you need 4% to withdraw. Now you ask and here now I'm going to give you the answer to what I mentioned earlier in this video is that what do you need to retire in? How much money are you going to need to save? That's the magic formula that you need to know. What you do is you take one year of income that you need and multiply it by 25. And that will give you the number that you need to have put away for your retirement. So let's say that you need $15,000 a year to live on. When you multiply that by 25, that's going to be $375,000 you need to be put away in your investment account for your retirement. Now, we have that $15,000. You may ask yourself, can I really retire on $15,000? Well, let's say that now, besides that, you have a pension or you have Social Security. And let's say you're making 
$10,000 a year on that. So now you add up the 15,000 and the 10, now you've got $25,000 a year to live on. Maybe that will make more sense to you. And that's a possibility that that amount of money will be the magic number that you actually need as you get close to your retirement. You can add anything on there. You figure out what you need, multiply it by 25, and that's going to be the money that you need to save. Now remember, in that investment account, you're going to have 50% in stocks and 50% in bonds. Now this is a general idea. You can tweak it, you know, it depends on your age. The important thing to remember about this and anything with doing and investing and saving for your retirement is the longer you have, you know, to save, the better off you are. So if you're in your 30s, you have a bet, much better timeline than let's say if you're in your 50s or your 60s. So if you can put away enough money in your retirement plan, then it's going to give you adequate enough money to live. And this way, you'll have funds where you can travel, you can, you know, live the good life. You know, so the key is, is to keep your overhead down as you're saving and, you know, not have too many expenses. And this way, you're able to save. Now you finally have your amount, you saved it and everything else. And this again, you'll see over years, sometimes that investment account, it may make 12%, it may make 20%, it may make 30%. But remember, you only want to take out that 4% because in those good years, it will then take care of the bad years down here where it wasn't, maybe it wasn't making anything. So it's really, really important to remember, only take out 4% you know, that you're going to live on and you can then definitely, it'll last you 25 or 30 years. If you feel you've received value from this little video we have made and you would like to subscribe, what do they need to do, Lori? Well, what you need to do is press on Jerry picture and something going to pop up somewhere there and then you're going to press that and you're going to see another video. Please subscribe or thumb up. Yeah, and make a comment. Also, there's other videos that you can see. Check out them. We don't know where they're at right now. And click on those, and you can see those videos also. Thanks very much. Thank you. Bye-bye. Appreciate that. Bye-bye.